Hello, hello, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XI. It's Captain Calm Wind here. Um, not working on his mythic at all. Um, actually, that's technically a lie. I did use, or like the, the day before the update to the September update, and I used uh, my like last 100 hallmarks of victory to buy like six Alexandrites. Uh, so, you know. I'm up to like 30. We need 30,000, so. Not like, eh. But, uh. Today we're gonna go for a change of pace. Uh. We're going to, uh. Let's see. Try to do, I guess, um. Some Mabel Burrows. Although the point isn't actually to get to the end, it's to um, we actually want to. Uh, I don't know what any of that does. Arrow barrier box. I guess we could buy the 1001 and see what happens. Oh, okay. Store more pheromone sacks. Makes sense. Head to the burrows, please. Uh, I think we just want ceramic champagne. By the way, what we're actually here for is to learn blue magic spell. Um, there's a unique blue magic spell to learn from Mabel Burrows. Uh, Let's learn from a monster called Amiable, which is a giant mole. He saw us fight one of those in uh, the uh, the first uh, Voracious Resurgence part. Um, I can't remember how this works. <laughs> I know I showed this on screen exactly once, right? Like. I, I trade him the Diligence Grimoire? Let's see. Okay. Uh, cool, cool. No expedition has been selected. Uh, show me the items. Uh, oh, you can actually work on um, you can work on relic stuff here I guess I guess that makes sense okay uh, choose an expedition let's see assistant maybe. Uh, I think we, to get to, I think, the earliest version of Meebles, we've got to get to assistant number three. So we've got to complete, arrive at the goal, arrive at the goal, ensure all permers arrive at the goal undetected. Uh, find the most expeditious route from the specified points, increase. Okay, uh, sure, whatever. Yeah, this was like quirky little low man content back in the day. Uh, I think it was three men? Was it three people? Was that the most you could take? It, it might have been up to six. I'm pretty sure it was just three. I could be remembering wrong though. Okay, I have no idea where the goal's at. We're supposed to not get detected though. Didn't bring any sneak items though. They might be true sound anyway. But it's kind of whatever. I don't care about goal number three. I don't think we will fail if we get detected. I don't even know where goal number one is. 
or what the goals look like. Spare a crumb of gold. But yeah, the reason we're not doing more missions right now and uh, not working on our mythic on screen or anything is just. Oh, wait, wait. That is a meeple. That's like the real reason we're here. Uh. Do, 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 do. Uh. Goals be damned! Oh no, the foes have discovered me. I'm terrible. We can never get goal number three now. Precautions. I don't think these things are actually strong, but I have no idea how long we're going to actually be hitting that Meeble for once we kill this bat, so... It schmiz, what it schmiz. Mighty God! Meow, 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 meow. Alright, Mr. Meeble. Or maybe Mrs. Meeble? Oh shit, these things are like over level 95. Give him capacity points. We'd love to see it though. Okay, we want to take our swords off actually because. So we want to take our swords off actually because we don't want to kill the damn thing. And did I put my. I had my Bazo Bands out earlier. I've, I've been learning blue magic like. Okay, that's not what we want. What we're looking for is uh, Thrashing Assault, I believe is what it's called. Yeah. 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 Come on, do Thrashing Assault, you slut. And if you've forgotten how Monster TP behavior works. The lower a monster's HP, the faster they'll use their TP moves. When they're at full HP, they, they will only use them when they actually get full TP. When they're at like half HP, it's at 200 TP. And when they're under 25%, that's when they'll use them whenever they get to 100. There's the move we want. Fresh Assault. Bada bing, bada boom. Calm Wind learns Thrash Assault! One of one! Ha ha! dangly parts. Okay, so we've been discovered. So I guess the only other thing to do now is to try to at least reach... reach. I, like, I think all, it's Meeple Burrows, right? So all we gotta do is reach goal one and then we'll technically be able to leave uh, with success in our hearts. But yeah, so that spell uh, is actually really good. It gives the double attack trait by itself as well as 8 dexterity. This is the first goal. Yay! Can we leave? Okay, so we've got the terminus whistle now, so we're all set. Alright, but yeah, so... Thrashing Assault, right? Uh, you can see it's a really high level spell, it's physical, it takes 7 points, gives double attack by itself, uh, very, very desirable, uh, but I think if we set multiple double attack traits, <coughs> we actually wind up getting triple attack. Which would be ideal since we already have double attack from warrior sub job. And so I think what we gotta get rid of for right now is uh, 
That's only two. We need seven. Okay, wait, no. We we need five more points. All right, so if we take World of Rage off, we can take... We could get rid of Corrosive Ooze. I don't even know if that actually works on everything. But it's actually kind of a nice debuff, so I don't know. Let's see. Well, we technically don't need Diamond Hide. It's nice to have, we technically don't need it. Um, and then we can get rid of uh, World of Rage, I suppose. Thrashing Assault. And the other big awesome thing about Thrashing Assault is the fact that it is fusion elemental, which means we actually now have a physical spell that will make light off of Savage Blade, which because we worked so hard and got the Nagaling uh, from all our Red Mage Ambuscade work, we now have an ideal chain affinity set up. Yep, yep, look, we've got triple attack now. So, uh, just by gaining that spell, we now have double attack and triple attack when we're blue mage slash warrior, and that means that we can hit the attack cap for a round just naturally. Uh, because double attack and triple attack can stack together on the, si on the first uh, attack of an attack round. And so that means we can do six hits with our main hand, or our offhand, honestly. And if that occurs, and then a double attack happens on the other weapon, we will hit eight attacks in an attack round. And whenever that occurs, the attack round actually goes on for so long at capped haste that your next attack round will start before your first one finishes. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. So we just really increase the power of our blue mage quite a bit. Alright! Yay, we did it! Evil Boros is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And I'll probably come back to show this off more in depth, uh, or at least like to show it off a little later. Uh, it's not like priority number one, especially now that we got that spell. I thought we were going to have to do way more of that, and that's actually why I put it off um, for so long. I'm guessing Sinker Drill is actually slightly stronger than Thrashing Assault, but since Sinker Drill is gravitation property, it's for making darkness. It is technically more MP efficient, but without a Tizona, Expiation is weaker than Savage Blade, so. Bum bum bum. But I like being able to do both. Both is good. And now, let's see. We, I suppose we could continue with the Voracious Resurgence. Or we could try to go do... To kill a Mythic thingy, maybe. Um, which would involve going into Salvage, or go, trying to go out to one of the Beastman Strongholds, and seeing if like Medusa or, or whatever is up. But frankly, that would be a lot of travel. I think that we should probably go do Voracious Resurgence. I think my my brother actually started playing again. I think he's left his character AFK online. Yeah, there he is. He, he had to build a new computer because his old computer blew up on him. But uh, he's back to playing again. And he's... I think I've talked about him a couple times. He saved up for a Kraken Club. And uh, bought a Kraken Club with hard-earned gill that he earned without botting or anything over the course of like a year and a half of just nothing but grinding gill. Um, but he used to do that with our friend Syria. We had a character on this server named Vladiria 
or Bla Bladeria or Bla Bladeri. I don't know how, how it was supposed to be said, but it was like Syria, but with Blade on the front and no C. Anyway, that friend was a paladin main and uh, also had like Dark Knight and a few other jobs, a bunch of relics, mythics, and Empyreans because they never stopped playing. They played together a lot. They were like a tag team duo situation, both dual boxed characters. And uh, my brother has a Geomancer with an Idris that he dual boxes. And Syria had a Corsair and a. Uh, I want to say a White Mage. Might not have been a White Mage, though. I know, I know at least a Corsair. And together they would duo with their dual boxes and like one trust, <laughs> like like all, all dual box characters and then one actual trust. And uh, Syria would tank everything and they would duo in Dynamis Divergence and Omen and other places that I have yet to show or go to and just sell the proceeds and make millions pretty cool. I suppose, though, if we're going to do Voracious Resurgence, I should probably pull up the mission list and look at our own mission list, actually. It's counted as an add-on, even though it's not actually an add-on. I don't know. So the last one we did was the Doll Whisperer. We beat up the, uh, what was that, that Elvan Beastmaster with the Star Onion Brigade over in Windurst. So now we're on we've got to go on to the Sandiorian arc and uh, looks like we might get some weird stuff uh, from it there looks like joke weapons I don't know what's gonna happen here but apparently we have to go to the Chateau d'Orgil and speak to Halver so I suppose we'll do that, because why not? Why not just go ahead and get some more Voracious Resurgence done? We got more mat mixes in our future, which means more free job points. And uh, our next goal in our Blue Mage would be to earn about 119 more job points so we can max our Blue Mage, Blue Magic points, so that we can equip all, or at least one more spell, or have more spells. You know, like all those spells we just had to take off for Thrashing Assault. If we, uh, if we cap out, if we get 119 more job points, we can, uh, you know, we can reset them, or we can set another spell. As far as our spell list goes on Blue Mage, I believe with the addition of Thrashing Assault that I've learned every spell that's not from special places or monsters. Um, and by that I mean the Unbridled Learning. Uh, we're, we're missing quite a few Unbridled Learning spells. Like, we don't have Pyrrhic Bulwark from the Hydra. We don't seem to have Turbillion from uh, Chimera. We don't have uh, any of the Naya Cool ones. Each of the Naya Cools, the Wild Keeper Reeves, those, those actually teach uh, Blue Magic for Unbridled Learning. Um, there's three or four spells that come from, I think, Vagary, or maybe it was Sinister Rain, which is like this really end game stuff we have to ask for real player help with I believe not too much I think we just have to ask for like two really decked out players or so and we'd probably be able to do it um, let's turn off names shall we Greetings, Calm Wind. I have an important task that could benefit from an adventurer's keen eye and swift feet. You see, something rather unfortunate happened the other day. Unfortunate, you say? Does it involve an egg? You summoned me, Your Majesty? Thank you for coming, Halva. There is a pressing matter I must discuss with you. 
Or perhaps it would be more accurate to say I have a favor to ask of you. What may I ask is troubling you, so... You see, House Virgol is having a party. A ball, to be more precise. The first in a long while. Perhaps you have already heard the news. Why, well, yes, of course. It is the talk of the town. Their family has quite long and storied history. When I was but a lowly student at the balls held by House Virgo, where the stuff of legend, the manor was filled with beautiful young ladies adorned in various hues and fineries. I still dream of their parties to this day. There I met a beautiful woman, unaware at the time that our fates were bound by destiny. Yes, those were exciting times. There you go again, Halver. I did not summon you to share stories of your youth. Ah, uh, forgive me, Your Majesty. Yes, what did you wish to say about the up upcoming ball? I wish to speak to you about Trion, who has also received an invitation. The same Prince Trion who flees at the mere mention of the word ball? Yes, the very same. He finds the arts of diplomacy and socializing while at a ball bore him to no end. Now that you mention it, uh, if I remember him leaving the last ball, the moment he received words that orcs were planning to attack the chateau, I learned afterwards that it was a hastily formed plan that could have easily been thwarted by the royal knight alone. At the time before that, he mysteriously fell ill as soon as he arrived at House Virgo's manor. Indeed, I have always wondered about the timing of that myself. Have you forgotten? Once he left the house, he, de he seemed to be in perfect physical condition, not at the top his chocobo. Yes, I suppose he did. However, the purpose of this upcoming ball is somewhat different than before. A large number of foreign dignitaries have been invited. As Prince of the Kingdom of Sandioria, his presence is necessary to convey an air of dignity and authority. That is why I have summoned Trion and ordered that he dutifully represent our kingdom at this ball. However, the fact remains that he loathes dancing with every fiber of his being. That is why I have called upon you, Halver. <sighs> you ask the impossible, Your Majesty. I am afraid that it will be hard enough to get Prince Trion to enjoy the ball, let alone fix everything that ails his technique, to put it gently. Whatever are you talking about, I merely want you to take the necessary precautions for any contingencies that might arise. Contingencies? Ah, I know what, just what to do. In fact, I would be willing to bet my life on it. So this is what I have in mind. In order to ensure that Prince Triana sends the ball, we must prevent any unexpected emergencies that might give him an excuse to leave. Therefore, we will need to put a stop to any incidents like what happened with the orcs last time, before they happen. To that end, I asked Rahal, leader of the Royal Knights, about orc activity in the area. He requested that I send him a skilled adventure to aid in his efforts. Naturally, I thought of you first, so would you be willing to help us? Yeah, sure, why not? You have our gratitude. Now then, please visit Rahal, and he will fill you in on the details. What's up, man? Remember that time that we saw our Palacion's ghost down in the Temple of Oogalopi? Ah, you must be Calm Wind, the adventurer Monarle Halver spoke of. Yes, I imagine you shall do quite nicely. According to our mutual friend, you are worried about work activity in the area? Or perhaps more aptly put, you are worried about Prince Trion's response to any possible orc movements in the area. If you respect Prince Trion's feelings, you would do best to refrain from assisting Monarle Halver. Although I cannot understand why the good prince loathes attending balls so much. I am actually quite an accomplished dancer myself. <laughs> what are the Phoenix feathers about? Well, enough of that for now. First things first, we need to investigate any potential orc threats before they can divert the prince's attention. I sent scouts to both the orc strongholds of Devoy and the Gelspa outpost. I've already dispatched another adventurer to the Gelspa outpost, so I want you to head for Devoy. Once there, you will need to meet up with an under our undercover agent, Kumari Khan, and receive his report on the situation. This way, we'll be able to launch a preemptive strike if we find out that the orcs are up to no good. Uh, okay. 
Also, I couldn't think of it. One of the storylines, uh, actually two of the storylines I meant to show off with Wings of the Goddess was I, I meant to uh, do the other uh, nation quests for like Windurst and Sandioria in the past. Because they're available for you to do and you get unique trusts out of them. Uh, one of the trusts is actually a young Exxon Mill, who in the present day is a ballista leader. He's a dragoon. We have we have one of his versions already. Yeah. And in this version, he uses a spear, and he's dressed in full crimson scale mail, and he kind of sucks. But the young version of him from the past, from like the prime timeline or whatever, uses a great sword and has uh, an AoE haste slash attack buff slash magic attack buff. It's like, it's like haste one on your entire party and then attack plus 15% and magic attack bonus plus 15 or something like that on your entire party. It's juicy and awesome. The only downside is, is that he likes to do AoE moves. Uh, and so, well, that, that used to be a prop, more of a problem for trusts because, um, other than like the liner all, there aren't really tank trusts that pull AOE hate. So like, when you had AOE damage dealing trusts, they could get themselves killed. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I was eating popcorn earlier with my fiance, and I guess some kernels got stuck in the back of my throat, and all the talking is dredging them up. I might need to stop and get some water. Man, I fucking hate my throat. Give me a give me a moment. I actually had a bottle of water nearby, so not the craziest thing. Sorry about that. Man. I always think it's really weird when something causes me to cough and I'm not sick at all. Like, the lining of my throat, like the back of my throat, it's been really fragile the last couple of years. I don't know if it's because of my acid reflux issues for from 2019 and 2020. Or if it's just me getting older and having a crappy diet and drinking too much soda. I imagine it's a mixture of everything. Like, I'm pretty sure nothing about my life is good for my insides. Like... I don't eat nearly enough vegetables or fruits. Uh, I mainly eat meat, and then I drink a lot of soda. I also drink alcohol, although I've been cutting back recently on alcohol. And then uh, I take ibuprofen uh, or an equivalent painkiller way too often. I seem to always be hurting myself or uh, just having headaches a lot so I take too much ibuprofen and that's not good for your stomach lining yeah yeah dude who's been here in Devoy for since 2002 just running back and forth uh-huh messengers that I believe come from the Orcish Empire in Northern Quan have been turning up quite often Huh. They appear to be collecting information about a special egg, and it lies somewhere within Quan's borders. Unfortunately, I haven't uncovered anything regarding their motives, so you see, until I can get more intel, I really don't have much to report. Huh. Steal a map or something like that from one of the messengers when they arrived. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Okay. Altered the terrain. Uh, okay. 
head to Manassa Cavern from the H11 entrance in Devoy. Touch the ritual site at the border of H9 and H10 in the Manassa Cavern to begin a confrontation with an orcish bewitcher. Okay, so... Yep, we gotta go like like we were gonna go do uh, stuff. I should have probably switched to Corsair for Bolter's roll, but why do that when we could be on a job that has all this? Mm -mm -mm. We're the best around. Nothing's ever gonna get us down. We're the best. Around. Oh, I'm never gonna get you down. You're the best. <laughs> yeah, so. Last few days I've, I've been polishing up on my blue magic. Learning quite a lot of stuff. And, uh. Got a lot of neat things. But definitely not enough. <laughs> I just always feel like. Like. One spell costing eight blue magic points is kind of ridiculous to me. Because whenever we get our next 119 job points uh, and finish out that category, we'll have 80 blue magic points to work with. And that means for eight point cost spells, we could set like 10 spells. And realistically, we're obviously not going to set all eight point ones, but like... We're probably only going to have, like, I guess, 13 or 14 spells set at a time or something. Like, how many do we got set right now? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, oh, wait, 18. we got 18 spells set. So, like... I don't know. Yeah, I just sort of had the hankering to, to go back to playing Blue Mage the other day. Because I... It, it always bugs me in the back of my mind when it's like, Oh, you, you thought you learned all the Blue Magic spells, but no, you're missing like 20 of them. And every time I looked at the list, it felt like I was missing an, yet another one. And honestly, it still feels that way. I feel like I feel like if I go and look at the list, uh, I'll still find out that I'm missing, you know, not even the unbridled learning spells, which obviously I'm missing a lot of those. But uh, just like one, some like random spell. Like, what if we don't have like fucking. Oh, I don't know, uh... I was gonna say Blast Bomb, but I guess we have that. It, it can... It just, like, it can be surprising what you don't have. Like... When you look at the list. Look at it closely. You obviously actually don't need every single spell that Blue Mage can learn. There's a lot of them, especially in the lower levels, that are just transitory garbage. And you level so fast that, like... You might as well focus on the big ticket spells. But Blue Mage is actually a really useful sub job as well as main job. Particularly for tanks. And uh, I don't actually plan to really seriously ever play a tank. But if assuming I ever play with my brother again, there's actually some utility I could get from like Paladin slash Blue Mage if you know, if only to just control the way the monster faces. Because, uh... I believe that's our spot. Okay, no, no telling how hard this thing could be, so let's just go ahead and bust out... ...some, uh, trusts here. And since we're on the Sandy Orion leg, I mean, Valineral kinda counts, but he's like Shadow Rain... ...era, so let's whip out, like... Uh, there's gotta be someone else in here that's Sandiorian, right? Uh, well, we could whip out Treon himself. 
the man, the myth, the legend, have his trust live, uh... through him or whatever. I don't think we need like a super serious setup. No, we can we can buff anyway, so I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. Yay, we're just like a red mage. Except better at melee combat by a good bit. I'm surprised these orcs aren't aggroing us. They're like in the high 60s. Oh no, my strength. Whatever will I do? I think he's gonna die before our chain affinity, but I don't know for sure. Dang it, Zade! <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have used trust at all. <laughs> Orcish battle plan, huh? Key items never look so good. This map, map, doubtless from the northern continent of Rezoa, is surprisingly detailed for one of Orcish origin. A skilled cartographer or tactician could surely interpret what it means. So what, we gotta take that back to Kamarikond? Damn it, laptop, you're not supposed to fuck with me. Also, excuse me. Do, 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 do. Return to Kumarikon for a cutscene to receive Kumarikon's report. Escape, then re-enter Devoise, the fastest path. Uh, eh, well, we're just gonna walk out because we got our cocked out. No. Oh, Blue Mage, Blue Mage is looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. One of these days, I kind of want to save up and get plus one Chi Rich Wings. They're slightly better. They have like 10 accuracy, 10 subtle blow, and then two regen. So together, they have four regen. I think they also have six store TP instead of five. But they cost like... On this server, they cost like 8 million a piece, and it's just like, eh, for their marginal upgrade, they would be over the normal quality. I'm just not, you know, it's not a priority. Not a priority. Like it all. Honestly, I probably should have just gone west. Back the way we came. I don't think that uh, go to old Kumari Khan is closer this way or anything. Unless we can run down into the water. We cannot run down into the water. Sad state of affairs. I like that battle music that's playing for these voracious resurgence fights. Apparently, we've got plenty of them to go. This is technically part three of the Voracious Resurgence. I think there's like 14 parts or something. I'd have to verify exactly, but... I don't care too much.
times like these, I wish I had picked the movement speed ring, not the carrier ring. But what can you do? I mean, usually movement speed's not that much of an issue. Because you can uh, usually mount up, you know? But this counts as a dungeon, even though it's outdoors completely, so we can't mount up. I tell you, though, uh, that, that Corsair of Bolter's Roll and whatnot, that's... That's addictive by itself, being able to make yourself move so fast for so long, for so often. Like, Corsair might not be the strongest buffer in the game, but they're no slouch, and they have some pretty unique abilities that are just outright, for the most part, seem to me, anyway, to be outright better than the equivalents. Like, Bard obviously has movement speed plus for the whole group, and the Chocobo and Raptor Mazurkas. But you can only have one Mazurka effect up at a time, so you can't have both. Uh, which I think is dumb. Because, like, every other song effect, you can have, like, two... Uh, except for... S specific etudes, I think. But... Either way, Chocobo Berserker is, as far as I know, slower than Bolter's roll. Both in casting it and in actual potency. But then, like, you know, Corsair has all these roles that are, like, just completely unusual. Like, the Bard has no song equivalent for. Uh, Geomancer has no bubble equivalent for. Like, uh, I don't think there's a save TP bubble. I don't think there's a TP regain bubble. Oh, I don't, like, Corsair has roles for that. How useful they are compared to its standard goals, uh, it's another question. A map of Busidine Glacier. Huh. Uh-oh. Dun-dun-dun. Alright. Mary Khan support. Okay. We got a warp. And when I press the warp ring, I'm going to put my... Take my headset off for a second. I'm getting really cold. The AC is working a little too well. So, give me a moment. Oh, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience. Okay. Back to San Dioria. What do you think of my Blue Mage lock style, by the way? Obviously, it's just the Adam and Hobrick. And then the Blue Mage hat. And it's like... The Usukane feet, and then Adam and mufflers as well. The important thing is that it's blue. Because we're blue. I'm blue. What's up, bitch? Remember that time these armor suits came alive and started killing people? Or, well, beating people up? Mm, it seems the rumors that Kirilla spoke of were true. Forgive me, I recently heard rather disturbing news. So how did it go? From the looks of it, you completed my request without incident. Woo-woo, what's this? So the orcs were sending messengers to the Northlands? Although we do not know the details, it's safe to say that this is no ordinary egg that we are talking about. 
if at all possible, we should try to make the first move and find a way to disrupt their fiendish plan. Naturally, if it comes to sending troops to the Northlands, we will have to take our fellow Alliance members into consideration. At any rate, we must first look to secure the path to the Northlands by shoring up our defenses at Ranglemont Pass. We have received reports of a mysterious monster roaming the area. I shall see that word of this matter gets to Monterey Halver. However, I have a feeling it will do little to allay his fears. Quite the opposite, in fact. If Prince Trion learns of this, he will surely consider it necessary to march on the Northlands and begin making preparations for war. I can foresee all kinds of potential problems. We must approach the situation with the utmost caution. Dun da da da! Obtained 20,000 gil! Yes, yes. Okay, okay. So now we gotta go talk to Halver. To start the next mission. I sure did. Fell ill. No white magic potion or prayer could alleviate what ailed him. At first we thought it to be some sort of curse, but we were mistaken. What's that? You think he is faking the whole thing? How dare you besmirch the prince's good name? You can be jailed in Boston Oubliet for a hundred years for slandering the royal family like that. Of course, I suspected the same thing myself at first. At any rate, if we can prepare some medicine in case Prince Xi'an falls ill again, we should be able to get through this. That is why I have requested the help of the gardener, Chalateau, who is well versed in herbs and other remedies. I imagine his research ought to be done by now. Please go and see what he has to say. You should be able to find him in Queen Lute's gardens at this hour. Okie dokie. Oh, now I'm yawning, because it's like 3 a.m. Yep, four minutes to 3 a.m. We'll have to eat a Krabby Patty in four minutes. You don't understand. Oh, great. More cutscenes before we even actually talk to the guy. Clady! Now then, Princess, I have selected some flowers to use in your hairpin for the ball. Thank you, Shalvato. I always have trouble deciding on such things. Everyone will be watching you dance with your brother. What the fuck? Royalty is weird. Ah, uh, that reminds me. Curious what you may have heard, Chavito. People are saying that even Carilla was prepared has prepared a dress for this ball. I suppose stranger things have happened, but <sighs> I have only heard mere rumors. And what rumors are those? Maybe you already know the ball's a social event for ladies and gentlemen to attend. How can I put this delicately? Yes, I already know that. It is a place to meet potential romantic partners. Yes, indeed. So rumor has it that Count Tolome's heir and Lady Gorilla... You cannot be serious. Uh, please excuse me for a moment. <sighs> oh, big yawn. What can I do for you? I'm not yawning because of the content, by the way. I'm yawning because it's 3 a.m. Yeah, I must be lonely, yeah. I see, so you wish to prepare some medicine for my brother at the ball. Princess, please leave this to me. I already know something of this matter. A remedy for when Prince Gianna is not feeling well. Please wait a moment, Shalvato. 
but I... Can I ask you to find a flower known as a Soladago flower for me? It is necessary to make the medicine you seek. It's quite rare, so I hear it only blooms in somewhat remote locations. People say that finding one is no easy task. However, I must move quickly in order to help my dear brother. Shalvato, please tell him where Soladago flowers tend to grow. <sighs> I suppose in adventure uh, you should have no problem with this task. Head to Ottawa Chasm in Mendasia. Thank you. I'm counting on you, adventurer. Please take care on your journey. Clady, come back! You can blame it all on me. And how dare you forget that I'm ranked 10 Sandy Ori on this character. I know I switched back to Bastok Bestok, but come on, I'm, I'm ranked 10 Sandy Ori. I did all the Sandy Ori missions. It's criminal. Criminal, I say. But now we need sickles, and we gotta go to Otto Chasm and harvest, I guess, poison plants or something. But we're pretty much at an hour here, and quite frankly, I'm not super invested. And uh, you know, this is this is plenty of enough time to ask someone to watch. Like, if you've watched this far, you have soul of steel because uh, I know this is not exactly uh, Shakespeare or you know uh, Pootie Pie or uh, any actual good YouTubers so either way though thank you for watching stay safe and have a great day and next time we might do some more voracious resurgence or perhaps we will, I don't know, go kill Medusa or something. So, uh, again, thank you for watching. Stay safe. And have a great day.